We've all had moving days, and they're not fun. So try to imagine when an entire store is moving. Such was the case with the Pennywise Resale Center, which benefits the Fort Bend County Women's Center. Well, we're very excited about the move for Pennywise and Stafford. We were at our uh, last location since 2004. We figured it was time for a new look, a new uh, sense of community within the store. So we found a fabulous location between uh, Murphy's Deli and uh, Wendy's on Murphy's Road. We had our grand opening yesterday and it went fabulous. We feel that uh, with the new look and the new uh, brightness of the store, um, we'll be able to really attract more people. It's easier to get in here. If you'd ever been to the old store, you could only get in one way and uh, we can turn left and right getting into the center. So it's really gonna be a, a great advantage for us. Joy, her staff, many volunteers have put this whole thing together. And uh, you know, back in the summertime, we learned that we had to move locations we were fretting this quite a bit. We looked around, we had a difficult time finding a location, number one. We found it, it was completely empty, gutted, never been used before. All this is brand new. Uh, I think accomplished in 60 days, 75 days, something like that, uh, with all the permitting, the build out, and now we have a store that's been open about a week, and I've heard the numbers are all very positive, which is a really a good sign. Uh, because all the money that flows to the bottom line, of course, we use, you know, at the women's center. On behalf of uh, the mayor of Stafford, Leonard Scarcetto, Scarcella, uh, the city of Stafford Council, and the citizens of Stafford, uh, we just want to, uh, I got my cheat sheet, <laughs> we just want to extend congratulations to you guys for a job well done and we look forward to big things from you. Additionally, we commend your mission of providing assistance to women of uh, uh, domestic abuse and for kids also for sexual abuse in, the, in that arena. We, we commend that effort on your part. Um, you're an asset to Fort Bend County and particularly to Stafford. We, we are glad you chose to stay in Stafford. Um, we, uh, we wish you continued success, and we, we want you to understand as if there's any way the city of Stafford or the mayor's office can be of assistance, we are there just a phone call away. First of all, I want to say the city of Stafford's been great to work with. I don't think yes. this could have happened if the city of Stafford, and we have the best landlord in the business who happens to be here, Jean Worland. <laughs> said, okay, let me fix it. And he's just been terrific to work with, and so has the city, and we really do appreciate it. We're glad to be here. And to everybody who helped, and all of our volunteers, the first day we moved here, y'all, we had empty racks, boxes full of junk, not junk, great stuff. <laughs> and we were like, oh, how are we ever gonna do it? Everyone has moved before, right? When you walk into your new house and it's all boxes and you think, oh, I'll never get done. We had all these volunteers and before the end of the day, it was full. It was absolutely fantastic. We had kids, we had adults, we had Boy Scouts, we had everything. And so um, everyone who helped, I'm sure there's a lot of you who were here. Thank you so much. No, donations are always very important. Without the donations from the community that we could not keep our stores open. So please bring things that you might not think you need anymore, but somebody else will find to be a treasure. For more information on the Fort Bend County Women's Center and Pennywise, go online to fortbendwomenscenter.org. For Stafford CSI, this is Randall Williams.